Hi, Taurus. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. The details to this reading are located in the description box below, but be sure to only take what resonates and leave what does not resonate for someone else. At the end of this reading, I will be pulling you a surrender card and I'll also pull some cards for their sign, the sign you're dealing with. So this is whatever wants to come out. Let's see. What's the message for Taurus? Well, you're manifesting something here. Okay. All your hard work is going to be paying off in 2023. So keep that same energy. I feel like you have, you're very talented Taurus. Okay. That's, that's very talented here. So your guides are wanting you to utilize your talents, your skills here. Some of you guys will be revamping your skills okay let's see but there's a period of self-discovery taking place in december yeah i'm just uh wow okay so there's definitely going to be a period of celebration after a period of you feeling left out or you feeling um like you're missing out on something so you could be feeling like you're missing out on something now but that energy is going to soon quickly pass because i see you manifesting some of you guys are manifesting a relationship if it's you're manifesting different things you could be manifesting a relationship but this is ultimately your happiness i see a very enjoyable you know first half of the year for you in 2023 i feel like you're ending 2022 uh, a little let down by somebody or by a situation but I feel like you're not going to stay in that energy. There's clearly someone here that wants to communicate with you, Taurus, the magician. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini. Or they have those traits. But this is someone wanting to reunite. They're wanting to offer you a new beginning. But this person really disappointed you. Okay, um, I'm getting someone here is actually ashamed. They're still ashamed or they are ashamed of something that they've done or said to you, took advantage of you somehow. What else? You could be going to school with that page of pentacles, but this is definitely studying something, okay? And there's a message coming through. Some of you guys are gaining new interest in something that's going to make all your dreams come true. So there's a major blessing coming in when you follow your skills, your gifts, your talents, is what your guides are saying, so... Definitely follow through with that because I see you really happy. I see you celebrating. It's like the further you get away from this disappointment, whatever has let you down in the past, the further you get away from it, the further you focus on yourself, you're going to be manifesting a dream come true, wish fulfillment here. So you're definitely being guided away from something that has let you down. I feel like this lets you down multiple times. Or, you know, for a while, Seven of Swords could be friends or, you know, a person in particular or a situation in particular that just has not been working out. The Three of Cups tells me it could be multiple situations, just kind of feeling like, uh, you know, people have been letting you down lately. Situation's been letting you down. And so it's like, I see you separating yourself from these letdowns and focusing on you. And you're manifesting something really good for yourself. And again, we do have somebody here that wants to talk to you. Could be an air sign or they have those qualities with the Ace of Swords. They're really wanting to communicate something. What is it that they want to say to Taurus? They don't want to let you go. Someone's not ready for you to leave their life or they don't want to let your energy go. That's for sure. And it's like the more you discover self with this magician, the happier you are. Energetically, you send off these signals to this person that they could have had something with you or they could have shared in your happiness. I do feel like in 2023, there's going to be some type of joyous celebration that this person, person either witnesses on social media or they hear from other people. And they're going to really feel like they're missing out on this version of you.
I am seeing a newer person come in. Wow. I am seeing a newer person come in. Let's see. The King of Cups, the Fool, the Star really wanted to show itself. Okay. We're going to go back to this other person that doesn't want to let you go before I pull a card for the new person. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Toxic attachment they have to you. So this is like somebody, you fulfill this person. I, I'm getting like emotional dependency on you. The tower, the devil, somebody is having, somebody is feeling this is not good. They have a, a, a definite, a toxic attachment to you. Okay. Like they need you in order to feel good about themselves. Okay. The tower, the devil for their feelings. They're obsessing. They're obsessing over not being in control of you anymore, or they're obsessing over the fact that you could potentially be moving on with someone else. It's not good. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, they're heartbroken, but I don't, I don't like how obsessed this person is with you, Taurus. Because it's almost like an energy of somebody wanting to ruin a good thing for you. I'm not saying they're going to, but it's an energy of them wanting to. Like, not wanting you to be happy without them. Like, they don't want you to be happy with anyone else. And they feel as if that's what you're headed toward. Meanwhile, they're stuck in a toxic cycle here. I'm getting anger. Like, somebody is really mad that you could potentially be leaving them behind. We have the Justice card. Whew. And then we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck along with the Emperor. This is not good. Um, I just feel like somebody's karma is having to witness you leave them. I mean, simply put, it's, it's like this person did not treat you right. And they're going to be going through a really negative cycle in their life, especially the first half of 2023, where shit's going to hit the fan. And I feel like their obsession for you, it's going to be really hard for them not to try to ruin things for you. This could be defamation of character or definitely trying to ruin any sort of new connections that come your way. I don't know how they would be doing that. Um, but the justice card says that anything they do to you, it's going to come back on to them tenfold. Like they're going to have a rough time trying to reach you or they're going to have a rough time trying to hurt you again because they've already let you down enough. They've already hurt you enough. The universe is not going to let this person touch you. However, they're very upset. Okay. Justice card. This is the universe balancing the scales out. They're very upset with the way the universe has taken this into the universe's hands, right? Which is you meeting someone else and, and you know, moving on. So that tower steps in. I mean, there's nothing this person can do about it. You can't, you know, you can't control the universe. And so I'm just getting like this person is going to be getting a taste of their own medicine. They may have made you feel like an option. But now they realize that they're no longer going to be an option. So let's see this new person. Four of Pentacles in her purse. The new person is not possessive, okay? Not controlling. I'm seeing someone that's pretty easygoing. They, they respect your boundaries, okay? They don't hold on too tightly. I'm getting like you could truly be yourself around this person. You're not going to be afraid to speak up or have boundaries with the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I'm actually getting they welcome that. They welcome your feedback. They welcome your boundaries. They want to know so they don't mess up. We have this Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck for what you don't see. I see a chance at happiness with someone new coming towards you. We got Libra energy here. Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn. It could be any sign. So what's Taurus's advice? What's Taurus's advice, please? Okay, and things that don't feel good. Walk away from things that don't feel good. Uh, I'm also getting your advice is there's going to be better days ahead. Okay, you might be feeling like you're in this Five of Cups, Ten of Swords energy, like tired, 
you know, beaten down, but I definitely feel like let things end. Just, just don't try to control outcomes here. Yeah, because there's a new beginning coming in. Your guides are saying let something fall apart. And that might be hard to hear for some people, but there's definitely a beautiful new beginning with someone else trying to enter. Okay, and this person over here has got to figure some things out. All right, but I see a beautiful new beginning coming your way. This is someone that is very romantically interested in you with the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and then the Sun. They have a strong desire to make you happy. Okay, this is intense. There's an intense new beginning happening for you, okay, with somebody new. What does um, Taurus need to surrender? Surrender to non-action. I feel like you get this card quite often, Taurus. It says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. And they will. You're going to have a choice between this past person and this new person. Your guides are wanting you to go with the flow with the full, the Ten of Swords. Go with the flow, okay? Um, and don't try to force anything. Let people prove themselves to you. And don't feel the need to have to prove yourself to anyone. Okay, not right now. That Now is not the time to have to prove yourself. I feel like now is the time to put up some boundaries with that Queen of Swords. And this new person is going to be very respectful of those boundaries. We're going to do Aries through Pisces. <clears throat> so this is if you're dealing with this sign. All right, let's see. All right, if Taurus is dealing with an Aries. The Aries is stubborn right now. They're stuck in a negative ego. If you're dealing with another Taurus, it's taking a lot of strength for them to hold back from you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini spies on you, okay? They're wanting to communicate and they're wanting to keep it, they're wanting to keep in touch, okay? But how they're doing that is by spying on your social media or asking around about you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they want you. The star card, you're their wish. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're very attracted to you. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they want to claim you. The Hierophant, they want to commit. They're feeling very intensely towards you. If you're dealing with a Libra, you make them happy. They want a happy ending with you. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio wants to apologize. Uh, if this is a newer Scorpio, I feel like this, one, this Scorpio just wants to pursue you. They think you are incredible. Okay, the Scorpio finds you incredibly beautiful and they're wanting to pursue you. If it's a past Scorpio, uh, along with that, they are wanting to apologize to you. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Five of Cups, uh, they're losing hope that you two can work this out. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they want a new beginning. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they want to commit, Ten of Pentacles. This Aquarius, um, I gotta say that I feel like there's superficial reasons why the Aquarius could want commitment from you. All right. I don't know the specifics of it, but the Ten of Pentacles, they are wanting some type of long-term commitment with you. But intuitively, I feel like the Aquarius has superficial reasons to that. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to reunite and work things out. If it's a new Pisces, they definitely want to get to know you. All right, Taurus, those are your messages, and until next time, bye.